Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to all. My name is Akash Elias and uh, today we will discuss peptic ulcer. In peptic ulcer, a sore that develops on the lining of the esophagus, stomach or small intestine. When ulcers occur, ulcers occur when stomach acid damages the lining of the digestive tract. What are the stomach acids? As you know that HCL is present inside the stomach so sometimes it also starts eating the wall of the stomach. So that results in the ulcer. What may be the causes of the peptic ulcer? Helicobacter pylori, a bacteria, it may cause damage to the wall of the stomach or other digestive tract organs. Use of aspirin, excessive use of aspirin or ibuprofen, drinking too much alcohol or smoking, these may be the causes of the peptic ulcers. Now there are basically three types of the peptic ulcers. Gastric ulcer, gastric as it is mentioned from the name that develops inside the stomach. Esophageal ulcer that develops inside the esophagus and duodenal ulcer that develops in the duodenum. What is duodenum? It is the upper part or upper section of the small intestine. As we know that small intestine has three sections. Duodenum which is the first and jejunum which is the middle part and ileum which is the third part of the small intestine. So, now talking about the symptoms. Symptoms of the peptic ulcer change in appetite, bloody or dark stool, unexpected weight loss, indigestion of food, vomiting or chest pain. These may be the symptoms of the peptic ulcers. Now what may be the complications of peptic ulcers? There may be three complications. Perforation Perforations, as we know, the ulcer itself means a hole develops in the target organ. A hole develops in the lining of the stomach or small intestine and causes an infection. Internal bleeding, sometimes when a hole develops, internal bleeding starts and it may result in significant blood loss and also the blood uh, starts accumulating in the body. And uh, so in that case, hospitalization is required. So this is also a very severe complication of the peptic ulcer. And the third one is scar tissue. This is a thick tissue that develops after an injury. This tissue makes it difficult for the food to pass through our digestive tract. After an injury, this tissue is formed a type of cluster of scar tissue a type of cluster of tissue is formed due to which the food feel difficulty to pass over digestive tract and we feel pain so these are basically the three complications of peptic ulcers now what can be the treatment of the peptic ulcer It may be treated by an endoscopy procedure by injecting the medication into it. So, what medications can be used? Proton pump inhibitors. It is also another topic we will discuss it in later on also, inshallah. Histamine receptor blockers, H2 blockers, antibiotics and also the protective medications for the stomach or for the digestive tract. So this was all about the peptic ulcers. Here we discussed the definition of the peptic ulcer, then causes of the peptic ulcer, then we discussed the types of the peptic ulcers. Later on, symptoms complications of the peptic ulcer and the possible treatment of these ulcers. So, thank you so much. Stay blessed. We'll see you soon.